Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. Uh, in this video, I will discuss uh, one more problem for Turing machine. That is uh, to design a Turing machine for finding the ones complement of a number and the twos complement of a number. Okay, so I'll discuss both uh, the Turing machines in this video. So this video is going to be a little bit longer one. So let's start. Okay, so first of all. Uh, we'll understand what is one's complement and what is two's complement. So what is one's complement? So one's complement of a number is suppose we have some uh, binary uh, string. Binary string we have is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So this is the number what we have. So what is the one's complement of this number? The one's complement of this number will be just inverting the digits. That is if it is 0, change it to 1. If it is 1, change it to 0. So the one's complement of this number will be 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, that's it. So, very simple logic in this one. The logic is we'll start with this one, the pointer will be on to the first uh, digit that is on 0. So, it will just change this 0 to 1 and then move forward, change this 1 to 0 and then move forward, change this 0 to 1 and so on. Okay, so finally, I'll change, I'll invert all the digits and in the end, my pointer should point on to the first digit of the changed number that is that is the point from where the output is getting displayed okay so i'll change everything i'll invert everything i'll go on to the right hand side and then from the right hand side i'll again take a left turn and come back on to the very first digit of the number okay so let's start doing this one so let's take an input tape first the input tape is this we have uh, certain blanks and then we have zero 1, 0, 0, 1, followed by some blanks, okay. And the read right head is currently on to the first 0, okay. So, it is a very simple one. So, initially, the pointer is at 0 and we will take an initial state at as q0 and at q0, what I am finding? It is very simple. If I find 0, I should change it to 1 and go to the right. If I find 1, I should change it to 0 and go to the right hand side. So, all these zeros and all these 1s will be inverted using these two transitions only. Okay, That is, the 0 will be turned to 1, this will be 0, this will be 1, 1, 0 and finally, the pointer will come on to this B. Okay, So, what I need? I need to point my pointer on to this first digit because this is the place from where the output is getting displayed. So, uh, what I will do, what I am finding right now, I am finding a blank and then this blank should be blank only and take a left turn. So, this blank will be blank only and I will take a left turn. I will come here, say, I will take a state Q1. At Q1, what I need to do, I will now skip all the zeros and all the ones. So, I simply I will take a self loop. If I find 0, keep it as 0 go to the left. If I find 1, keep it as 1, go to the left. So, all these zeros and all these 1s will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this blank now. So, from this blank, I need to again take a right turn. So, I will take a right turn. That is, if I find a B, I should keep it as B and go to the right hand side and take some state, say Q2 and we are done. And this pointer will now point on to this 0. So, my output is getting displayed from here 10110 and I am done. Uh, in this one, there is no final state. Why? Because it is a transducer. What is a transducer? Uh, Turing machine acts as a trans transducer means changing the uh, string from one form to another. Okay. So, the initial form of the string was 01001, but now the new form is 10110. So, what I am doing? I am just changing the string from one form to another. That is called as a transducer. And in a transducer, we do not have to take a final state. So, this is the ones complement of a number. Now, let us start the second one, that is the twos complement of a number. So, first of all, uh, let us find out what is the twos complement and then we will design a trick machine for this one also. So, if you take an uh, input string as 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 okay so what is the two's complement of this number the two's complement of this number will be one's complement plus one okay so first of all i will find the one's complement and then i'll add one to it so i'll get the two's complement so the one's complement of this number will be just inverting the digits that is i'll get 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 this is your 1's complement and then I will add 1 to it. 
okay i'll add 1 to it what i'll get 1 plus 1 is 0 1 carry 1 plus 1 is 0 1 carry 1 plus 0 is 1 and then 1 0 1 1 0 okay so this is your output and this is your input now if you see this very closely and analyze this uh, this is your msb and this is your lsb uh, it is most significant bit it is least significant bit so if you just analyze both these input and the outputs what you can analyze uh, if we start from the lsb okay so with the lsb i can see that i am finding this zero and zero same i'm finding this zero and this zero same i'm finding this one and this one same and after this one i am inverting all the digits that is this zero has been changed to one this one has been changed to zero this zero has been changed to one this zero has been changed to one this one has been changed to zero so what i'm finding from the lsb all the zeros are as it is in the output the first one is also as it is in the output and after the first one all the digits are inverted fine so you can check with uh, this uh, uh, analysis with any number so take any number of your choice any any binary number and then find the two's complement and in the two's complement you'll find the same thing okay so uh, what logic we can, uh, we can apply in this one i'll start with this one I'll skip this one, this zero, this zero, all these things will be skipped and finally I'll come to the blank. Okay. From blank, I'll take a left turn and while taking a left turn, I will skip all the zeros because after the blank, all the zeros will be same in the output. So all the zeros needs to be skipped. If I have uh, five zeros, so five zeros have to be skipped. I'll continue skipping everything till the first one first one till the first one everything will be same and after the first one all the digits will be inverted so till the first one everything is same and after the first one everything is inverted here okay so from here i'll take a left turn skip all the zeros skip the very first one and after the first one invert everything so that is a simple logic in this one so let's design a turing machine for this two's complement applying the same logic okay so let's take the input string the input string that we have is b 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 and then followed by several blanks okay so we have this one and finally uh, i'll change everything and in the end my pointer should point on to the very first element of the string that is this is the place from where the output is getting displayed okay i can do uh, i can point my pointer here also but this is a better logic why because my uh, output is getting displayed from this point onwards so i'm pointing my pointer here only okay so let's start, start doing this so initially the read write head is on to the first one okay and the machine is at q0 which is your initial state and what i have to do i just have to skip everything all the ones and all the zeros have to be skipped simply i'll take a self loop if you find one keep it as one go to the right if you find zero keep it as zero go to the right so all the ones and all the zeros will be skipped and the pointer will point this first b okay so now as soon as you see this b you should do nothing okay if you find b keep it as b and go to the left hand side so this b will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this zero now what i have to do i know that at this point i don't have to do anything with the zeros okay so any number of zeros i'm getting i'll keep all those zeros as the same okay so here i'll take a self loop that is if you find a zero keep it as zero and go to the left so all the zeros will be left as it is and the pointer will now come on to the first one now okay so what the logic is again the first one has to be skipped okay i don't have to do anything with this one after this one everything has to be inverted so what i'll do because i'm getting a first one so therefore i'll take a move for one that is if you find a one keep it as one and go to the left hand side so this one will be one and the pointer will now point on to this zero now okay and the state is at q2 so this one will be skipped now at this point onwards i have to invert everything zeros should be ones and ones should be zeros so here i'll take a self loop that is if you find a one 
you should change it to 0 and go to the left. If you find a 0, you should change it to 1 and go to the left. So, all these 1s will be changed that is it will be uh, this 0 will be 1, this 1 will be 0, 1, 1 and 0 and finally, the pointer will come to this B now. Okay, fine. So, it is on B now. So, what again I have to do? I have to point my pointer onto this one. My work has been done. All the elements have been changed and finally, I have got the output from here. What I am getting? Uh, this uh, 0 will be 0 only, this 0 will be 0 only, 1 will be 1 only. So, all the digits are changed and finally, I will take a move for blank. If you find the blank, keep it as blank and go to the right hand side. So, the pointer will now point on to this 0 and we are done. Okay. So, since we are just uh, changing the string from one form to another, therefore, I will not take a final state in this one. It is a transducer. So, this is your two's complement for a binary number. Thank you so much.